we come to the end of today's message. I would like to spend some time invoking our theological imagination a little bit to consider a rather obscure verse in our reading from 1 Peter. Okay? In verse 19, the author writing about Jesus made alive in the Spirit and the people of the time of Noah, he's bringing those two things together, he says, he, Jesus, went and made a proclamation to the spirits in prison. Okay? Doesn't really explain a lot about it. Now, some Bible scholars, what they think is happening here is the author of 1 Peter is telling us that Jesus went to the people that were destroyed by the flood. And he preached to those people in prison the good news, the salvation, the good news that only Jesus has. Imagine what that means about the mercy of God. Imagine what that means about the boundlessness of God's mercy. It means that we can have all have new starts. Even though our environment may be familiar, we can start anew, just like Noah did. All of us can have starts in this world and also a new start in the next world. None. No one, not even our worst enemy. The ones that we see as irredeemable are beyond God's mercy and redemption. We are all children of God that are redeemable. 